for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our video series on creating a CSS layout. In this video, which is the third part of a series, we're going to see how to create a three column layout. In our previous videos, we've constructed the HTML and begun to write the CSS that's going to format our um, page. You can see here where we left off, and here is where we're going with this. And right now, we're formatting this top navigation. Now, in the last video, we left off in formatting the LIs and the A tags for this top navigation area. And it seems like I've done something a little bit contrary here. For the LIs, I've said display this inline. But for the A's, I've said this should be in a block format. So there seems to be a contradiction here. There really is no contradiction. The list items I want to be able to flow one to another to the left. So that's the reason why I said display the LIs inline. But for the A tags, I want those to be able to form a block with padding. So I have to set the display type to block so that I'm able to apply this padding. Finally, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and float these to the left. So I've said my individual button should be a block. And this is the size they should be, the text plus this padding and spacing. And I've said float them as far to the left as possible. But the li tag, I've said take the list off and display them in line. So now when I come over here and click, you're going to see that they return to being in line and they're floating as far over to the left as they can. Now at this point, I can begin to play with some of these properties. For example, I want some more top and bottom padding, so I'm going to change that to 8 pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and make this 18 pixels left and right. And now you'll see the buttons are going to get a little bit larger. Let's do a couple other things. I'm going to go ahead and set the color of the link here to just a white. Blue won't look too terribly, um, won't look too terribly great there. And I also want to take the text decoration off. I don't want that underline to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and select none for my text decoration type. And again, you'll see the change has been reflected there. Well, now that I've changed my font um, color right here, I'm actually going to come back up to the background color for the div. And I'm going to change that back to something darker, to a darker gray. And now you'll see it's looking a little bit more like the sample that we looked at originally. Two more things we need to do. We need to add these dividing lines and we need to add the hover effect. So I'm going to come again back in here and here is my A tag and I'm going to go ahead and put a border on the right hand side of each one of these cells. So I'm going to go ahead and say border right and this is going to be a one pixel white solid border. Save it click over here and you'll now see those lines appear. So that's it. I'm finished formatting my A tag. Now I need to go ahead and create the hover effect. Whoops. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here one more. And again, this is only going to apply to um, hovers that are in the top nav div. So I've gone ahead and put the pseudo class a hover in there. And the only thing that I want to happen when um, somebody hovers over this button with their mouse is I want the background color to change. So I'm going to select color. And I'm going to select a really dark green here. And then I'll go ahead and close that off. Close my style. Save it. Click over here. And now you'll see that rollover effect on the navigation. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and learn how to format our left navigation area here, 
our content area and our right sidebar. And you can see from our example the way it's going to look. Here's the left navigation area, here's the main content area, and here is that right sidebar. So that's where we're going in our next video. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.